Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by and to view the channel. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's start off 2018 on a good note, on a serious note. Those of you who want me to always show where the structure is that I found, I'm going to tell you once again, but with pleasure. On the bottom left of this photo, Clavius Crater is there. So the photo is actually turned to the right and we're seeing the north side of the moon. This area is a double crater that is a couple of hundreds of miles from Clavius Crater. Inside of it, there are cities and structuring that makes me believe that they were constructed. The proof is there, it's clear enough. At the back, um, you're looking at my wonderful uh, grandfather's magnifying lens that he used to use for a stamp collection over top of the lens through the plastic of the lens cover you could see the walled structuring that's on the surface i'm not going to call it a city i'm not going to call it um, anything besides the fact that it is symmetrical you could see that the creator on top of this photo has a flat surface road which would be wide enough to house buildings on it. This is the surface of the moon. It's not a manipulated photo. In the southern highlands, there are cities and structures and construction that have been there for hundreds of years that we know of, but possibly there for longer. I'm going to repeat myself. Us on Earth have known this for hundreds of years. Hundreds. Now we're going to see it in a straight up x ray photo. A negative. Adjust your eye and look to the top right of this photo. You can see a wall, a very straight path wall. Behind it, massive structures that are towering objects that look constructed and that are definitely not something that was formed naturally to the left in this photo on top are massive complex installations that have been seen in most and many and all of my videos when i've posted them the crater in the bottom left of this photo has many buildings and structures inside of them it's not fake the real photos i'll show you all where they are i'm not hiding it You look at the top side of the moon, over top of Clavius Crater, way up in the top side of the moon, north side behind Mare Frigoris. Then you start going eastwards, following the outer limits of the moon on a full moon, and you will see, sometimes half partly hidden in the light, this beautiful structured object that is on the surface, anomaly, on the right here in the bottom which looks like a green pipe or tunnel that's coming out from the bottom center of it that is green in color. The photos I'm showing in this video are the real thing and are very serious. And those who are researching the moon know very well what I'm posting. And I'm talking about the real ones. Um, the north side of the moon where many of the structures are behind Mare Frigoris. It's all there. The proof is all there. Um, I'm going to show you some wonderful controversial photos that were the first photos I've ever posted on YouTube. It's the entire north side that you can see all the structures. It's not this one here. You'll see it soon. But take a look at this one. We're going to lead up from um, the crater here to go to the north side of the moon and we're going to go all the way up all the way up and we're going to see and you're going to see a photo that is um see that white object on top there we're going to go see that as big as the whole screen supposed crater okay let's get a little closer and we're hitting this one we're going to be in black and white uh, sorry in x-ray because i want you to see the surface outline of um, the surface of the moon is not flat in any way. Here we are. The first blurry photo that I got so much hate from it. I love this photo. It's a very beautiful photo. 
Here it is in black and white. And again, sorry, x-ray. Just look at the Flintstone house there on top. Look at the structuring underneath. There's a building there. You can hardly see it on this one. Here it is close up. That object that we all see at the backside. Um, the white flat surface there. Uh, Street Cap one posted the video recently with the same object there. Here it is. The obelisk is in the center. And this is greenery on the right there. It's coming downwards. This is a flat surface. There's that crater, supposed crater at the back. The obelisk in the center is monolithic. It is gigantic. It's bordering the crater with a tunnel, two tunnels actually, that go up all the way to the, that crater on top there. Tycho Crater is here. To the complete left, you can see, I will show you where one of the cities are, where I show all the structures. I'm not hiding it now, eh? I'm showing it. I'm zoomed out. Mr. Lear, I'm doing this for you, brother. Um, I know you're probably very familiar with the area, but I'm zoomed out now. Um, this photo, you can see Tycho there in, on the right, the white crater. And on the left, there is a doubled cratered region. I will place a star over it right now. You must go there to see the beautiful structures that are there. When you first approach into this area and zoom in, you see many white bumps that look like little lines of toothpaste all over the place or white ejecta or lava tubes, whatever you want to call it. I don't believe that. Look at this. this um, they're not symmetrical, by the way, but there are all objects that are independently placed uh, side by side all around the cratered region. And in the lower depths of this crater, a beautiful line of columns that looks like housing. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's right there in the crater. I'm not hiding it. Everyone hates this photo, and I so don't know why. There's not one space channel that didn't talk about the crater on top of this point. And I've never seen anyone talk about it, what leads down to the monolithic monument at the bottom. All the stone structures at the bottom and structures in green around the right and many of my other photos. photos. Now, watch this. They're all down there. You can see stone buildings. You can see a bridge and path that goes up from towering either ancient structures. It, it looks like we're in Jerusalem, for Pete's sakes. So you can see the bumps on the surface right here. That looks like the moon has some kind of a, I don't know, virus? All these white bumps that are all over the surface are in unison, many of them. And you see to the right there, too, different sizes, shapes. Some of them connect. This is some kind of a structuring on the surface of the moon that was um, constructed. It's not natural. I'm not saying it's housing. I'm not saying that people are there. I'm saying that something or someone did go put these objects there that should not be there. They're symmetrical. They're constructed. Oh, these controversial photos. I almost threw them out. I got so much bad comebacks from them. But it doesn't matter. It's not important. I'm not stupid. The monolithic object at the bottom, we can see the bridge a bit more there going up, winding road, path, wall of China, whatever you want it to be. But look behind that structure or crater that everyone talks about. Even Street Cap talked about it. Look what we see behind that object. We see a high elevated mountain. Um, area surface with other structured uh, anomalies at the back never seen by the way i just wanted to show you guys that shooting light in the dark to bring up those structures amazing technique that i'm working on now with all due respect for the people that say to me that they cannot see the surface or that there are any structures i'm sorry i don't believe you if you tell me that you cannot see what is before you right now. I'm sorry, I do not believe you. 
I clearly see that there are many bridges right before me, at least four or five of them. Easily at the center, this massive structure, whatever it may be, even if it's an irregular shape, it does go to symmetrical objects at the back, and you can clearly see structures. I need no stars or pointers up on the surface. I'm showing it to all of you. It's the surface. There are descending levels on the surface of the moon. There's color. There's hazes. There's lights. There's movement. There's somebody up there. Speaking of bridges, here's a bridge beside Biancini Crater in Sinusiridum. Again, more greens and pinks and purples on the surface and what looks like either abandoned structures. If they're abandoned, they would have been there for thousands of years untouched. I would be curious as to, to know as to which material they're using so that I can make myself a fence and a roof out of this material so I won't have to buy a roof every three years. <laughs> Roofs are expensive. And then inside many of the craters, they have what I call either setups of piping that could possibly hold a substance or liquid, or maybe possibly bigger and passing people through it. The moon itself is a massive system. It's a machine of some sort. It's fabricating, it's filtering something. Something's passing through all the veins of the moon. It's a complex setup, unimaginably advanced. It's filtering, processing, recycling, rebirthing possibly. Much respect for uh, John Lear when he said about the moon and um, I'm going to let your, you all see for yourself and look it up and do it as I did because the ones who are looking for truth will find it is what I believe and uh, Mr. Lear I've always thought that somehow the moon you know when my father had died and passed on that he had gone there for some reason and for whatever the reason some people on earth are communicating with either the dead or some kind of person or object on the other side, for whatever the reason, the benefit of the doubt. Hats off to you and everyone who's researching this, the moon. You know, I, I believe that we found um, the Holy Grail. It's just that it's understanding it. We're looking right at the truth and all the answers of everything and anything yet we're not able to completely and entirely understand it in one lifetime. Maybe that's why we come back. Maybe that's why some of us remember being here before. So do you like this photo? Mm hmm? It's <laughs> this is Mons. Argaeus. Isn't that nice? Oh, have you ever heard of Mons Argaeus? It was an Apollo landing. Pretty close to there. Actually, it was there. It must have been to visit the structure. Did you see how the quick change of the surface of Mons Argaeus came out and the structuring? with um, the x-ray processing. Look at the top right of the photo. You could see other anomalistic structures or whatever it may be. Again, looks like another city appearing at the backside. Wherever you see white on the moon, on the top north side where everyone thinks it's snow and that's very bright and reflective, many structures and anomalies are inside and under those lights. And that's what I'm working on clarifying. Thanks a lot, everyone. So what do you think these are, my friends? I mean, come on, guys. Looking at these objects, what do you think they are? They don't look like natural formations. They don't look like lava tubes. 
You know, seriously, when you look at them, they really do not. With the 14-inch telescope, we're going to prove that. But our goal here is to learn, nothing else, to learn about the truth. Wonderful contributors, as usual, two wonderful lists of people. Bill Copeland, Rita DeJagger, I love you, dear. Thanks a lot for the wonderful donations, several donations, and for being a wonderful part of this community. Um, I have to wait till after Christmas to get an editor, and I do have to change computers. So I'm in the process of that, and uh, everything's a normal here. It's just that I'm working harder to get the darn videos up. WSL YouTube channel, check him out and see what he's getting in the sky.